And we're going to move on to the second talk of this, which is a talk by another recorded talk by Zolt Zambori, worked with Joseph Urban from the same group on Prologue Technology Reinforcement Learning. Good afternoon. My name is Zolt Zambori, and I would like to introduce a system called PLCOP. Uh, PLCOP is an automated theorem prover for first order logic which uses external guidance that comes from machine learning. The core of the system uh, is the Linkop Connection Tableau Theorem Prover. It is this calculus that uh, we want to learn to guide. Proof search is based on Monte Carlo Tree Search, which explores uh, several proof attempts in parallel. We maintain a search tree whose nodes are prover states and whose edges are inference steps. Each branch corresponds to a proof attempt. The tree is augmented in iterations uh, of the following four steps. First, uh, we select a node that has at least one unexplored child. This is called the selection step. Next, we select uh, an, an unexplored child, perform the corresponding inference step, and add the resulting new state to the tree as a new node. In the third step, we assign an initial value estimate to the new node. This represents how close the state is to a complete proof. Finally, the last step is called backpropagation, in which we update the value estimates of all the ancestors of the new node based on its initial value. This Monte Carlo tree search algorithm makes use of two oracles. The first one is called uh, the value function, and this is what tells us how close a state is to a complete proof. Uh, the value function is queried when a new node is added to the tree. The second oracle is called uh, the policy function, which gives us a probability distribution over available inference steps in a given state. This policy is used in the selection step. So, where are these oracles coming from? Initially, they are going to be simple human heuristics. They could even be random. It doesn't matter that much. Because very quickly, they are replaced with learned models based on the prover's own exploration. This is done according to the Dagger meta-learning algorithm, which iterates the following two steps. First step or first phase is data collection. Um, we built several search trees uh, for uh, various problems, uh, and then we extract training data from the trees uh, for policy and value models. Next comes the second phase, which is model fitting. We train policy and value models that fit the collected data. Afterwards, a new iteration starts. We build search trees again from scratch. However, uh, this time we use the recently updated models to guide tree search. Um, and we do this as long as we see improvement in the number of proofs found. Most of the system is implemented in Sweep Prolog, uh, in particular, uh, the Monte Carlo tree search and the link of calculus are in Prolog. However, learning is performed in Python using XGBoost, which is a gradient boosted decision tree library. The learned models uh, can be accessed from Prolog either via the C foreign language interface, which connects C and uh, Prolog or via the PySwip package, which connects Prolog and Python. The former is faster, while the latter is uh, 
more flexible. Um, we currently use uh, the C interface. PLCOP is not the first system uh, that uh, uses guided Monday color tree on top of LeanCOP. Uh, there is a system called RLCOP that is built on very similar principles. And um, I'd like to highlight the novel features of PLCOP with respect to RLCOP. First, we introduce uh, a new inference step called rewriting, which is uh, a slightly restricted version of paramodulation. Using rewriting, problems involving equality very often have much shorter proofs. On the other hand, the new rule is redundant and uh, increases the branching of the search space. Second, while uh, RLCOP only guides extension steps, uh, in PLCOP we allow for extending guidance to all inference steps, ex including extension, reduction, and rewriting. Third, uh, we built an external proof checker which can be used to validate our proofs. The proof checker uh, was particularly useful in the context of rewriting steps. It basically uh, can be used to, to replace proofs with rewriting to proofs uh, without rewriting. Finally, uh, we introduced a couple small but significant changes to the way training data is extracted from search trees. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to go into details, so I'm, I'll just skip that. Here in this table, um, I try to give you a rough quantitative idea of what is going on during the training process. It shows 10 iterations of training, and the numbers in the table are the number of proofs found uh, from a corpus of roughly 2,000 problems. In the first line, uh, you can see the performance of RLCOP, which is the system we wanted to improve upon. The second line is a rough approximate re implementation of RLCOP. Uh, this is going to be our baseline. Uh, you can see that this is much weaker than the original system. Then, later lines show what happens when various features are added. We can see that uh, guiding reduction steps doesn't seem to help uh, at all. Um, on the other hand, improved training uh, does give quite a nice performance increase, uh, both compared to the baseline and around COP. Uh, rewriting also yields uh, a significant increase compared to the baseline. And if we put everything together, uh, if you look at the combined PIACOP system that solves uh, over 40% more problems than the baseline and around 12% more problems than the RLCOP system. Finally, uh, let me mention that um, PLCOP is just part of a larger project in which we try to combine statistical and symbolic learning methods. Uh, our plan is to correct, collect proofs that are found by PLCOP and then use uh, inductive logic programming to create programs that can reproduce, generate these proofs. Once we have synthesized these new problems, we want to incorporate them into later iterations of the proof search as new atomic actions. So we, we introduce new complex actions which uh, which are very similar to uh, ITP style tactics. Uh, 
However, what's uh, different, what's novel, is that uh, these tactics are learned from proof traces. Uh, however, all of this is very much work in progress. Um, however, we do have small initial successes with simple domains. In particular, for Robinson arithmetic, we can already generate uh, pro programs that solve simple equations involving additions and multiplications. So we are working to extend this to to more complex domains. I'm going to end it here. Thank you for listening. All right, so thanks for the talk. And we definitely have a few minutes to answer questions. If anybody, Stefan, I saw you had a hand raised earlier. I don't know if that was for this talk or the previous one. Uh, put your hand up again if you want it again. Anybody else got anything in the Q&A or raise a hand? Jens. Uh, yes, um, a question. Um, uh, did you compare um, the results um, you got with the um, kind of uh, original lean comp implementation of the newest version, like uh, version 2.2, um, or did you just uh, compare it with the re-implementation of the connection program? So I did compare it with, with original lean comp, uh, which uses, uh, I think, around 20 strategies. And uh, uh, the 20 strategies together are, are doing better at least on this training set, not on all of the training uh, sets. So here we have something like, um, uh, we found there on 1400 uh, problems and lean cop uh, could find, uh, find there on 1600. So it's still doing better. Uh, there's another uh, problem set, uh, the, the, the lemmas uh, of the Bolzano-Weierstrass theorem, there uh, we get better results uh, with, with PLCOP than the original link OK, thank you. Has anybody else got anything else they'd like to ask? I would like to comment on the uh, subliminal third author who flashed by on the first slide. Very good, very nicely done there. <laughs>